If you don't know what Trovo is, it's a, it's a streaming platform that's similar to Facebook Gaming, Twitch, YouTube Live, and uh, Glimish. It's a, yes, there is another streaming platform that's out there. What Trovo has done is made a way to get your mobile gameplay from your phone or tablet or any other device into your stream by connecting it via Wi-Fi or a USB cable to your computer in order for you to connect it to your OBS and you know get it out to the rest of your viewers. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. Um, we're going to take a look at the Trovo Live FAQs and they have a great place here that gets you started. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your app store of choice, either iOS or Android, it'll work on both. For this video, I'm working with iOS, I'm working with an iPhone. So what you wanna do is go to the Apple, I, the Apple Play Store and look for Trovo. That's all you need to do is download the Trovo app because it's all integrated into one app. Now, once you have done that, you go into the support, the FAQ, and what you want to need to do is download a piece of software on your computer. So this is what we're going to do. So you click right here on download Trovocast. It'll take you a handy dandy page where you can click on the big green button that says download. It's going to download a 7-zip file. Now you can use a 7-zip or any other um, unzipping program that you need and you're going to uh, extract this folder onto anywhere on your computer. Now, the next part is what you'll have to do is once you do that, is when you open up your folder here with the Trovocast after extracting it, you want to send or make a copy of this executable or this application folder or file to your desktop. Now you can also, when you do that, make sure you have set up as run as administrator because you'll need some ad, uh, admin privileges for everything to work correctly. So once you're doing, you've done that, let's go ahead and uh, connect the phone to the computer and see what this bad boy looks like. So I have it already set up and I'm gonna go ahead and click on Trovacast. Of course, it's gonna give you a notification, hey, it's run as administrator. And uh, what I'm going to do for this particular portion of the video is I'm going to connect a USB cable from my computer to my phone. Now you can also use Wi-Fi, but I see as wi uh, Wi-Fi is not as um, reliable, especially if you don't have the best uh, Wi-Fi router out there, you know. So USB is more reliable in that regards. So let's go ahead and connect this. All right, so instantly, within a second, it sees my phone, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect. And there we go. It's gonna show everything that's on my phone perfectly, and, and it's pretty much real time. There is almost zero latency between, you know, swipes, in maybe half a second between the swipes, but it we're talking milliseconds here. So this is perfect if you want to show how uh, to do any kind of tutorials or with gaming. So let's go ahead and bring up Wild Rift. And it instantly changes the orientation of your, your phone and also the display that is on your stream. So this is the first time opening it. So of course I'm having to go through a tutorial, but that's pretty much the basic gist of getting your phones, uh, mobile, your mobile gaming onto your OBS for your streaming. It makes it so much easier. As you can see, I'm running it. It's in, almost in real time from my phone to the computer. Now you can, like I said, you can also do this via Wi-Fi, it's the same concept um, to do. All you're doing is just connecting from your, make sure your computer and your phone are on the same Wi-Fi network. That's the only difference. Now, let's go ahead and take a look 
at what you need to do on the Trovo app side of things. So let's go ahead, open up the Trovo app. And then what you wanna do is click on your icon, your profile on the upper right. Where it says go live in the middle. And the very bottom, just below where it says go live, says cast to PC. So you just tap on that. Then connect. And of course you connect to Wi-Fi, but in this case, I'm connected through USB, so it kind of doesn't need to do it this way. But that's how you would do it via Wi-Fi. Hey, future me here. I was just gonna be adding something here that I forgot to do when I recorded this video. So bear with me with the blown out video and the lighting is not as ideal. But anyways, I forgot to tell you how to add TrovoCast into OBS. Let's go ahead and show you this right now. So I have OBS opened up and to get your TrovoCast into it, all you need to do is add a source within your scene. That source is going to be a window capture. So all you do is click on the plus sign, window capture, uh, title, whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as window capture. And then it's going to be TrovoCast. And there you go. And that is all there is to it. So let's go back to past me for the rest of the video. So in closing, I mean, this is a pretty easy way of getting your mobile gaming from your device, either a Android tablet or an iOS tablet or phone onto your OBS streaming. And you can easily do that by connecting it from a USB or with Wi-Fi. So this is a TrovoCast has just released. It's still in beta. So take that in mind. A lot of things are being changed, especially on the Android side of things, because on Android, you can, it gets the microphone audio input as well as your system's audio input. So you have to make sure that you understand that you're getting the mic audio from your device as well if you have your own mic for when you're streaming normally. So there's some changes coming along where you can do um, audio sourcing, but also be sure to go to the Trovo Discord, sign up, and then 